welcome back to my channel. It's Whip Wesley here. Guys, today I'm going to be showing you some top secret things in Roblox Adopt Me. You might know some of these things already, guys, but you might learn something new in this video. So make sure to stick around because there's so many awesome secrets. Guys, I was about to tell you all about the fly potion giveaway that I was doing, but then someone saw that I had a fly potion out and they put this into the trade. So I'm putting two fly potions for this. I'm gonna see if they accept. Like, will they? That's definitely worth it. Because, oh my gosh, a fly ride dragon for two fly potion? Uh, yes please, that is a good trade. Now I have a dragon, which I didn't have before. So that's two fly pet potions for a fly ride dragon. Let me know down in the comments below if you'll do that trade. So let's get it out. Let's take a look at this. Um, take a look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, this is actually super cool. So we have a fly dragon with us just for trading. So let's ride it and see what happens. Uh, oh my gosh, it's like hovering. So it's pretty much flying when you ride it. I don't know what they named it. Is that like something in Spanish or something? It's like Chimelio or something. Let's just Google it as you do. So the translation of Chimuelo to English is actually Toothless. That's cool. Now I've got a dragon named Toothless in Spanish. So guys, I'm actually doing like a fly potion giveaway. And if you don't want to use the fly potion, if you win it, you can actually trade it for some pretty cool stuff like a fly ride dragon. And make sure to stick around because I'm going to tell you how to enter the giveaway later in this video. And it's actually really cool how I just traded the fly potions. And you'll be able to do awesome trades like this. So it's definitely worth entering the giveaway. So let's start off with some of these awesome hacks. I'm probably gonna have this, um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have this dragon out for most of this video. So for the first secret thing, you have to come to like the pool area and then, so you have to come to the pool party. I, well, I don't know why I said pool area. It's like the pool party, that's what you call it. And then you don't go into this front door. So you go to the side and then around here. And then when you come around the back, there is a random secret door just right there. I'm gonna stop right. So, <laughs> Don't bother going into the front door, come around to this back door, and it's super cool. You can also get there from going around here, so you can like be in the pool party, have some fun, and then see this random door, walk up to it, and then you're like, yeah. So that's just a random hack that I found out a couple of days ago. Uh, perfect timing for this secret, because for this one, I need to go to the campsite, and like, I'm ready to camp. So let's head down here, let's do some flying while we're at it. And let's go through this tree. Like, that's not one of my secrets today, but it's really cool. You can like go through the trees if you don't feel like going around them. So when you enter the campsite, go into the best shop ever. So once you're in here, you're going to find Bert, who actually has like a double. So there's a Bert here, and then a Bert like at the ocean area. So we've got some cool stuff here. We've got bongos, we've got a um, wheelbarrow, we've got some uh, marshmallows, we've got a guitar. But the main thing about this awesome shop is the secrets and the sparklers. The sparklers are cool. So if you just go around here, you find Bert, and then once you get into this place, so you like walk up the stairs, you have to turn left, and then you see this little vent, and it just says nothing to see here. In true Bert style, there's obviously something to see there. So I'm gonna get my torch out, my flashlight. Okay, so here we've got our flashlight. Let's turn it on so we can go into this dark, spooky room. You can kind of see through these wooden planks, but not too well. So what you have to do, look, I, I don't know why I'm shining at my dragon. My dragon's already in the spotlight. So let's just go through this secret vent. You can actually walk through it. So let's go, and then we get into like a maze sort of thing, like a maze slash tunnel. And then you have to go here, turn left, and then you see that there's two vents. You're going to want to go into this one. We've got this get out area, and then here we've got like two suits, and it says same. So I'm not too sure what that means. But then over here, this is from like Easter last year, before the pets were even added to the game. So we have Egbert. I'm just gonna take, yeah, my dragon can wait for the moment because it's kind of going crazy. So here we've got Egbert, and here it says Egbert plus cracked egg equals dog. And then here we've got Egbert, and I'm pretty sure that's like the first design of the cracked egg which is super cool. And guys, Egbert was like the mascot of last year's Easter. And now we don't have Egbert, which is really sad. So this was meant to be a surprise and like a clue at how like the pets will be coming into the game because back then they were just hinting at pets. They were working really hard on the pets update. And now we've got the dress your pets update. I'm actually not sure if there's like a secret room for the dress your pets update. That would be cool. So let's go back through this vent so I can show you the next secret. Let's just go around here and we are out. We are safe, we are sound. Egbert did not surprise attack us. It's like nothing much in that room except for the fact it's super secret and not many people know about it, so it's like the perfect hiding spot. 
Guys, there's actually heaps of secret rooms that you probably didn't know about in Adopt Me. So this one is going to be in the school. So this one you need to get to by glitching. So for this hack you need to have a stroller, but everybody comes with the default stroller that you get when you first go into the game, so that won't be a problem. But you do actually need like a fly or ride pet, or you can just make like an alt account, or use like a family or friends account, that would like work as well, and then you teleport to them. But what you need to do, you need to go right in between this trash bin, the tree, and this like little couch, and then you just push your pet or your alt account through here and it's really easy then you do start to glitch if you're using like a family or friends account you do need to be in the same family so you would go to here and then teleport to them or if you were in friends with that person you just go into friends and teleport to them but because i'm using a fly pet right now i'm just going to click on it i'm just going to click on it oh my gosh i picked it up instead of flying it so let's drop the pet and let's push it back through this wall and then it will start to glitch a little bit. Then you click on it and press fly or ride. I'm gonna press ride since most people have ride pets. And it will glitch you into this awesome room. If you glitch how I did, you just need to press fly again. And then you come into this awesome little room. It's like fully made and ready to be used. It's just Adopt Me hasn't used it. It's got like lights and everything. And yeah, it's just. It's like a super awesome room. You can go up here and there's like a roof area that you can walk on. There's this oddly shaped area. It will definitely be good for hide and seek because there's so many like nooks and crannies that you could hide in. And you can turn this lamp on and off and someone who's in the principal's office will probably be like, uh, what? <laughs> They'll probably get so confused. And you can also see Adoption Island from here, like the little Adopt Me area. But I'm just gonna head back into the school and let's glitch back in. There we go, and let's fly. Let's fly, and then we're back in here just from doing the exact same thing, except opposite. I don't know how that made sense. The exact same thing, just opposite. That's like, that's, that's messed up. Um, my dragon is sleeping right now, but it's kind of flying at the same time as sleeping. Does it do that on other beds or just this bed? Okay, it turns out the dragon does it on every single bed. I did not know that. I thought it would like tuck up and like lay down. This is actually the first time I've ever had a dragon. So that's why I'm like sort of curious on what sort of stuff it does. It does backflips, which is really cool. I saw that. So guys, I think we all know that there's a secret underwater world. Well, it's not really secret anymore because heaps of people know about it. But we do have this awesome update where we can go underneath the water. And then we've got this awesome area where we can like fly around. Everybody knows how to get here, but not many people know how to get to the secret adoption island. So if you stop ride, and then you want to like need a fly pet or a glider for this. But what you need to do, you need to just look around until you find an island that looks like that. So then once you find that island, you just push your pet through there. Or you can use an alt account or something. So you just fly it, you fly your pet or teleport. And then you just fly to this secret island. And if you want to know what it looks like on this island, go check out my other video. Because that's when I did everything about that island. I did a full video on it. I explored it. I did some awesome, like, candy racing and, like, super jumps. It's so cool. So make sure to go check out that video once this video is over. So stop right. I'm just going to head back in. And it actually does take quite a while to get to there. But it's definitely worth it once you actually do it. So this is a hack that's really cool. I use it quite a lot when I'm grinding. So when your pet's bored, I'm just going to head into my house. Let's go down. So when your pet's bored, you can actually like not go to the playground, but still cure its boredom. You can do it all from your home. So let's just wait for this. Okay, so here we are. We're in my house. So once you get into my house, I've actually got this nice little piano area. It's got like three little pedals and you can actually play the piano. And most people think that it doesn't really do anything. It's just there to look cool, but you can actually make your pets do it and it cures their boredom. So if I was to put my dragon down, let's put my dragon on the seat and then it plays the piano with its like little teeth and it actually cures its boredom. So you don't have to go all the way out of your house, all the way to the exit and then all the way to the playground. You can just do it from your home. And let's see. Okay, so I just got 12 bucks just from like staying in my home and putting it on the piano. So a feature of Adopt Me that heaps of people just turn a blind eye to is the obbies. They've recently been put like into the corner after the pet park update. So they've been put into the back and nobody really pays attention to them. And these are the obbies. I think there's about one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's six obbies. No, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I can't count, honestly. <laughs> Guys, there's seven obbies here and they're all really good. The amount of stars shows their difficulty. So Mini World is like the easiest, whereas Tiny Isles is the hardest obby in like the history of Roblox. 
And there's actually a secret room in the obbies, so let's just get my dragon out. So it's in my stroller, and you just need to push it out this door. So, well not through the door, you just push it through the wall, and then you fly it. And you can actually fly it around this awesome place. And there's a super secret room here, which is awesome. A great place to meet your friends. It even has like a little tree here for decoration. I'm guessing that's for people who like want to hack out of it. And then there's like heaps of areas over here. We've got like a secret corner room. And then up here, if we go up here, here we've got like a super secret room and it's like fully enclosed. Like, I don't know why they make this an actual room because it's already here. You, they just need to put like a few trees in the corner, maybe a TV or something, and it would be really cool. So guys, when you complete these obbies, you actually get a badge for each one. So for this one, you'll need a propeller, a glider, a grappling hook, or like a fly pet. Or you can get like heaps of anti-gravity potions and see if you could do it with that. But yeah, that'll work as well. But let's just fly this dude and let's head over here. The first place to do this hack is over at the ice cream shop. So you need to stand on the top of the ice cream shop. You just press stop ride. And then you get to here. And then you just scoot out just a little bit. And you actually float. Like look at that. I'm not touching. I'm not touching the ice cream shop at all. I'm not using any glitches. Well, I am glitching. It's just I'm not using any hacks. I'm not hacking Adopt Me or anything. You can actually do it. Go try it yourself. And you can go like really far out. But don't but don't go too far out because you will eventually fall. Let's like spawn a vehicle up here. So I'm gonna do like a flower wagon. Oh my gosh. My flower wagon is just hanging there. So that's a cool thing you can do to like trick your friends. And like say you've got a magical Harry Potter car that flies. Like or it just falls in slow motion. Yeah, so right now it's hanging on like a secret barrier. Another way to do this is by going all the way to the top of the sky castle. So let's stop right. I'm gonna use the like a hot air balloon because that's what you guys will be able to do for only five bucks, which is really cheap. So Captain Arg, hello there. Can I wave? Is that like a waving animation? Uh, we've got bow, sit, clap, salute. I'll salute to you, sir. So let's head into here. Let's fly the balloon. I've only got like four seconds until I need to be on this hot air balloon. So let's head up here. One second and departing now the second I sit down. So that's definitely cool. And let's sit in like the front seat. Wait, can I sit in the front seat? I don't think I can. I just want to sit in the front seat, please. Let's go. Let's make our way to the front, guys. Can we do it? Can we make our way to the front seat? To the pilot's cabin? No! Um, so the lesson learnt from that is don't try to go into the front seat. That's the only lesson I learnt from that. And don't jump up and down while you're in a hot air balloon. You could fall to your doom. So don't do that. So I'm just gonna fly up. I wasted five dollars for nothing. So for this hack, you're going to want to come all the way up to that little glowing orb on the top of the sky castle that like lights up the world. So let's go. So let's go onto this glowing orb and you're going to want to just stand on the top of it. So you're going to want to fly up and then stop right. And you'll actually be able to like stand here and just like the ice cream shop, there'll be a massive like, this, this is even bigger than the ice cream shop. So you're just going to want to like get a vehicle out because we can, let's get a, oh my gosh, the train is actually on the top of here. Can we do this? Whoa! The train just fell off the secret wall and oh my gosh, all the carriages just fell off. People who would have been witnessing that are probably like scared. But now my train has no carriages so it's nice and like streamlined and now I can just ride it around. So you can use a grapple to get up here on like a grappling hook. So I'm just gonna try and hook onto like the secret floor. The propeller also works so I'm just gonna do it with my dandelion propeller from the spring update which surprisingly is still here. I think it's gonna leave when the Dress Your Pets update comes. So let's just head up here, let's stand on the glowing orb once we get there, because this is actually kind of slow. And then let's choose a vehicle to use. So I'm doing the train again. Okay, I think I'm just gonna leave the train like that and just let it go and let it hang there for like the rest of the time. So now, as you can see at the Sky Castle, my train is just hanging there, like just casually hanging off the top of a random invisible wall. And let's get on to the next secret, because these secrets are actually really cool. I was really fascinated when I found out about them. So guys, this next hack is for when you want to like prank your friends or other people on the server. So I'm going to head in here. This is really simple. So all you need is like probably $10 for the cheapest option. So once it loads, so we're in. And then you're going to stuff and you're going to want to get the cylinder. So you're going to want to get the large cylinder, stand on top of this, and then get like a chair or a bean bag. So I'm just going to get the bean bag. Okay, so my beanbag is on the top of here. Let's put it in so it's facing the right way. 
And now you're just going to want to sit on the bean bag. So if you sit here, you'll actually be able to hover really soon. But I want to throw a party. So let's go into stop editing. And then I wish we could throw a party when we're inside our house. But sadly we can't. So I'm so I'm just going to go into here, host a party, and then I'll quickly jump in and show you guys how to hover. So I said I can float, I can float over your head, no joke. So let's start the party and go inside really, really quick. So next you're going to want to sit onto this beanbag. So you're going to want to sit there, then edit house, get rid of the beanbag, sell the beanbag, and then you get rid of the cylinder. And then when people come in, you just be hovering. Like, look at this, I'm hovering without anything. So this is like really cool when you want to prank your friends, like lock yourself in a room, do this hack, and then let all of your friends come into the room and they'll just be like totally surprised by what you've done. Oh my gosh, this girl has like a bunch of grow potions on and she can't get through any of the doors. Oh my gosh, I wish I could make the doors bigger for her, but sadly I can't do that. So guys, a hack that you probably have seen me use quite a lot in my videos is by going into your backpack, going into gifts, and then clicking this plus button, and then going yes. So then you can teleport to the gifts for absolutely like no cost. So guys, that's a super simple hack, and you can actually like teleport to almost anywhere on the map. You can teleport to the nursery, you can teleport to the baby shop. I pressed yes, I was meant to press no, but like the baby shop is actually really cool. Like, it's... The baby shop is like so underrated it's actually really cool like you can get some awesome strollers and the strollers are expensive but once you've got them like they're not disposable you use them forever so it's definitely worth it i'm not going to buy it at the moment i don't know when this car stroller came in like i've never seen it before but it is cool it's definitely a cool stroller so there's this awesome like lodge i think that's how you pronounce it so there's this lodge and you've got to go up to the door right and then click there rent lodge for 200 and then it says rent lodge for your family 200 bucks but don't do that because why would you do that when you can get it for free if you just go onto this side wall you can actually click sleep then you and you're actually in the lodge for like no price at all you can like bring your you can bring your pets into here by just picking them up and it's super simple you get like you get $5 small cookies, you get a bunch of marshmallows, like an infinite amount, and you also get these three beds, which are like all yours and nobody else can use them. And then to get out, you can just glitch your way out or just like fly a pair and use the stroller tactic. So guys, for the last one, this is also a super secret spying place. That was like, that was nice to say, super secret spying place. Where you can go into the ice cream shop where all, like all the penguins are and stuff. And there's, of course, like Elsa with all of her ice cream. And there's all of the penguins and golden penguins. But what you want to do, just here, you try and glitch through. So you can, like, glitch through however you want. Just make, just try and get through. And then you go into fly, and you can actually spy on anybody trying to get ice cream or getting a penguin. And once you go up here, it looks so nice. And there's all this cream-looking stuff here. And once you go into the middle, so you can actually fall into the middle, and like stop ride you can actually see absolutely everyone just from this little area it's just you can't see anybody below you which is okay i guess and it's really cool guys don't forget to leave a like on this video subscribe to my channel and let me know down in the comments below your roblox username so that you can enter the giveaway for the awesome fly potion and i'll see you guys all in my next video peace